Why, hello there. It's Mr. McFlanagan, your old buddy, your old pal, your old chum. And this is going to be Real Life Stories number six. And this is going to be called, If It's Too Good to Be True, It Probably Is Too Good to Be True. Now, the story begins with my friend Jared that I've known pretty much my whole life. Really solid, honest guy. Served in the army. Family man. Well, he tells me I've been wanting a muscle car for a long time. And he's got his eyes on this 68 Tempest that his buddy told him about. The only problem is, it's about a 6 or 7 hour drive from where we live. Now, I'm not working right now. My job picks up in a couple weeks. So he says, hey man, would you want to go to Ohio with me to take a look at this Tempest? And I know a lot about cars. I've seen a lot of cars. And so I say, okay, I'll go with you. So I pack up my stuff and we head to Ohio, okay? And uh, we're driving down the road, probably about 70 mile an hour. And all of a sudden, his engine just goes boom and revs up. And what has happened is the transmission is blown out. So we're stranded on the side of the highway with no transmission. And we have to call a wrecker. And a wrecker come and picks us up. He takes us to a hotel. And it charges us like $125 to take us to a hotel. We get to the hotel. It's $109 for one night. So we do that. We wake up the next morning. We call Enterprise Car Rental. And it's about $100 to rent a car. So now we got our rental car. We're heading over to Ohio. And we got about a six-hour drive. So we drive six hours to Ohio. We get to the dude's house. We pull up there. I see the car. The car looks good from the road. It's blue, you know, 68 Tempest. Looks just like a GTO. And the guy only wants four grand for this car or best offer. So we walk up to the car and immediately, immediately I'm like, oh no. I look down the quarters and there is Bondo all in this car. I mean head to toe Bondo everywhere. I mean this car is so rigged, it's incredible. And I says to the guy, I said, is it a real 400, does it have the original motor in it? And he says, no, it's got a motor from a Pontiac Catalina in it. If you don't know what a Catalina is, it's like a Cadillac, it's an old grandpa motor. And it just keeps getting worse. And I didn't want to tell my buddy how bad this car was in front of him. But I said, hey man, let's take it around the block, take it for a drive. So we get about a block away and we realize the car has no brakes. At all. And I pull over and I show him all the problems with the car. I'm like, do not buy this car. It's a money pit. You're going to put $10,000 in this car trying to restore it, get it the way you want. Do not buy this car. So my buddy takes two days off work. He spends like $500 to go see this car, and it is a pile of crap. And that's what I've been doing for two days. I've been stranded in Ohio. I've been all over God's green earth. I have drove 12 hours to go look at a piece of crap. And the moral of the story is, guys, if a car, if a car or an item or a girl, if it sounds too good to be true, make sure you do the homework. I mean, this would have been a simple conversation. He could have asked the guy a couple questions, you know, is it full of Bondo? Is it rusted out? And the guy, if the guy was honest, he would have found this out before he spent $500 to go to Ohio. I mean, we were walking around with $4,000 cash on us in Ohio to buy this car. And it was just a bad experience. So that's what I've been through in the past couple days. But this was a pretty good domination gameplay. I got like the sickest Hellstorm missile ever in this gameplay. If you watch it, I think I got like an 8-man feed. But I hope you've enjoyed this real-life story. Maybe you've learned a lesson. Be thorough. Investigate. Find out. And watch. I kill myself right here with this Hellstorm missile. And I told Abra, I said, Man, I died right there. I don't even know what killed me. He's like, Dude, you killed yourself. It was in the kill feed. And I was like in denial. I was like, No. I didn't kill myself. I couldn't have done it. No. And I looked the gameplay back, and I did. I killed myself on like an 18 streak. And, you know, that feels pretty bad. But I got some bonus clips coming at you. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I'm Mr. McFlanagan, and peace out, dudes. Christopher Robin and I walked alone Under branches in a thousand rows Posing our questions to our leaves As our days disappear
jar stuck on his nose. 